Brakta Yahawa, Brakta Yahawasha, Brakta Yahawa, Brakta Yahawasha, Brakta Yahawa, Brakta Yahawasha. All praises, honor, and glory due be to Yahawah, Pashem Yahawasha, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and Shalom to you, Akim, that's teaching the truth and sincerity. Shalom to the believers that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. This video is a message to the brothers in Ghana. And this message is for the Israelites that scattered out, scattered abroad, that's throughout the four corners of the earth, who this word resides with, and you gravitate this word, you gravitate to this word, this message is for you. Because we're in the end times, okay? And Israel is as the number, as the sins, as the sea, as the prophecy state. We're a numerable nation. Okay? And the Lord said that we was going to be throughout all nations. We was going to be in all nations. So why is it so hard to believe that we won't look like all nations? But once again, if you hear this word and this message and it resides with you and it resonates with you, and it, and, it, and it fulfills and it satisfies your spirit and it relieves your spirit, gives you comfort, hey, you might be a, a member of the elect, okay? You might well be an Israelite. And I got some scriptures. This is Titus chapter 1 verse 15. On to the pure, all things are pure. So, the only pure spirit is the spirit that comes from Yahweh Bashem Shah. And he gave that pure spirit to the Israelites. Okay? Because Israel simply means he is a prince of God or he is a prince of the power. We are the sons of the power. So it says, or to the pure, all things are pure. So, or to a pure spirit, all the words that's written in this book is going to be pure onto them. Okay? All the words that's written in this book is going to reside with them, it's going to resonate with them, it's going to click with them. Okay? And they're going to get satisfaction, they're going to get comfort, they're going to get understanding. They're going to understand that, you know, this world ain't all what it's cracked up to be. They're going to see that they don't fit in this world. There has to be more than just what we see in our everyday lives. There has to be some type of uh, liberation, some type of salvation, some type of deliverance. That we can't just be impoverished forever. We can't be on the bottom of the totem pole forever. When they hear these words, it's going to click and resonate with them. So it says, Unto the pure, all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. So the, uh, the, the defiled and the unbelieving, these words are not pure unto them because they're not a part of the elect. But the ones that hear this and it clicks with them and it resonates with their spirit, you might well uh, be a, a member of the elect. And it says, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and their conscience is defiled, meaning they're not chosen. They're not called, they're not chosen, they're not a part of the elect. Because this word doesn't quench their spirit. The prophecies, the scriptures, the faith, the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha, all that is unpure is, is, un, is unpure to them. Because they're defiled, they're unclean, okay, and they wasn't part. They wasn't called to be chosen. This is Romans chapter eight, verse sixteen. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Now we know when we look up in the Hebrew, it's called the sons of God or the sons of the power. So it says the spirit bear witness with our spirit. What's the spirit? The spirit of this book. The spirit of these words. The spirit of the message. The gospel. The good news. Bear witness with our spirit. 
our spirit, meaning the Israelite spirit, that we are the sons of God. And who are the sons of God? Yasha Allah. In the Hebrew translation, Israel. He is a prince of power. Okay? So once again, you hear the prophets, you hear the men of the Lord teach, which the men of the Lord are the elders and apostles of great millstone and their righteous fruit. You heard, the, you heard them speak and this word resonates with you. Okay? Because despite what all the Israelite groups teach, Israel was scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Israel, there's an Israelite in every nation under the sun. So of course, the Israelites is going to look like the other nations. All right? The Israelites are going to look like the other nations. But the spirit that's inside them is the spirit of the Israelite. And when they hear this message, they is going to, they're going to cleave to it. They're going to understand it. They're going to comprehend it. And then they're going to believe. Okay? So it says that we are the children of the Most High. This is 1 Samuel chapter 8, verse 16. I mean 16, verse 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or the height of his stature, because I have refused him. Now this is going back in the time of Samuel when uh, Saul, King Saul was going off and uh, the Most High was setting up a new king, which was David. So it says, But the Lord, which the Lord, his name is Yahweh, Meaning he is, or he is, he exists, or he is to be. That's the name of the Father. So it says, but Yahweh said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance, or the height of his stature, because I have refused him. But Yahweh seeth not as man seeth, for man looketh on the outward appearance. But Yahweh looketh on the heart. So the Most High sees your spirit. The Most High knows your mind, all right? And no matter what you look like, you could look like a so-called African. You could look like a so-called uh, Japanese or Chinese. You could look like a so-called Russian. You could look like any other nation under the sun, a European, a Greek, a French, a Swiss, you from Switzerland, or you could look like you from Australia. You could have the accent of the other nations. You could speak the tongue of the other nations, but your spirit is of an Israelite. So it says, for the Lord seeth not as man seeth, for the man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. So the Most High read, sees your spirit, he sees your mind. That's why this message gots to you. Because only the sheep is going to hear Yahweh's message, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah's message. Only the flock, the elect, his sheep, his pasture is going to hear his word and is going to resonate. Okay, this is St. John, chapter 10, verse 27. It says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. So the Lord's sheep, which is scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, or four corners of the earth, they hear his voice. Okay, and they gravitate to it like metal to, ma to a magnet. Okay. They're going to gravitate to it. Despite all the experience you hear the elders and brothers teach, you know, the passion that you hear elders and brothers teach, the emotions that you hear elders and brothers teach, you hear the message, which is the gospel, which is the good news. Yahweh Shai is coming back. He's coming back to deliver his elect. Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. It's high time to wake out of sleep. For our salvation is nearer than when we believe. You hear that message. And you want to get right before the Lord's destruction come. Alright? So if that resonates with you, now it's time for you to pray and call upon the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Yahweh being the name of the Father, Ba meaning He, Ha meaning the, Shum meaning name, and Yahweh Shah being the name of the Son. He delivers. 
He saves. That's the name of the son, Yahawashah. So now it's time for you to call upon those names. So he can come back and deliver us. Because that's what's written. The elect shall call his holy name. And in the land where it was said that ye are not my people, there it shall be said, ye are the sons of the living power. So now it's time to call upon the name of the Father and the Son, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Rehearse the righteous acts which the Lord's statutes commandments. And guess what? You grow in the faith, you grow in the knowledge, you eat this role, as it says in Ezekiel the second and third chapter. You eat this word and you digest it and you live it. And if the spirit gets on you, you, you prophesy. But if you a believer and a follower, you believe and you follow. Okay? So it says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them. And they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life. And they never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. So you're not going to be plucked out of the Lord's hand. Wherever you may be, whatever land you dwell in, whatever nation you're in. You're going to hear the Lord's message. You're going to hear his voice by the mouthpiece of his prophets. And you're going to cleave onto it. And you're going to gravitate to it. And you're going to learn. And you're going to grow. And you're going to wait upon the Lord as it is written. Until he comes and deliver us. Because deliverance is not only going to take place in America. The deliverance is going to happen throughout the four corners of the earth. The, of course, the major deliverance is going to happen here in America because America is known as Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon, known as Sodom and Egypt. So the great destruction is going to happen here. So the great deliverance is going to happen here. But guess what? Israel is going to have to be saved throughout the four corners of the earth because chaos is going to be happening throughout the four corners of the earth. So it says, and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My father which gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. Alright? Plain and simple, man. Whatever the most high Yahweh set in stone and, and, and planted, ain't nobody going to root out. So if this word is in you, and you, you hear this word, you hear this message, and it's in you, Hey, no man can take that from you, man. No man could pluck up what Yahweh planted. Alright? Because the most high words doesn't go out void. Whatever he thought, it comes to pass. Whatever he planted is going to reap and grow. So despite what you look like, this word resonates with you, there's a chance you may be a part of the elect. This is my last scripture. This is Matthew chapter 24 verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with the power and his great, a great glory. This is what we hoping for. This is what we praying for. The deliverance. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds and from one end of heaven to the other. So the Israelites, which are the elect, that's in all nations, shall be gathered by his angels as it is written. It says, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds and from one end of heaven to the other. So you brothers that's in Ghana, you brothers that's in uh, the Philippines, you brothers that's in Australia, you brothers that's in China, you brothers that's in Switzerland, London, Europe, Jamaica, South America, North America, you brothers that's throughout the four winds and the four corners of the earth, and sisters, <laughs> you're going to be gathered, okay? Because the scriptures say that two shall be saved of a family and one from the field. Two women shall be saved from a family and one from the field. 
all right, throughout the four corners of the earth. So whatever land you dwell in, whatever nation that you're in, if this word resides with you, you are a part of the chosen and you are part of the elect. And with that, I pray you brothers was edified. Until next time, I say Shalom.